In this video, we'll look at how we can add our takeoffs to the plan that we've imported into WonderBuild and also some of the features and functionalities of WonderBuild's takeoff tool. So once we've got our plans in our estimate, we want to click this Add Takeoff button. And this will bring up the new takeoff screen where we can start adding in all the different takeoffs we're going to be doing on this estimate. So the first one we'll do is slab area, square meters. Now you can also categorize all the different takeoffs. So let's create a new category here and we'll call this footing takeoffs. Now since this is slab area square meters, we'll obviously click square meters here and we'll hit create. Now what we can do is we'll be able to actually measure the plan with these tools as shown up here. So you've got your line, polygon, rectangle, and since this isn't a regular shape, we'll use the polygon just to measure this whole slab area of this home. So if we click here, and then what we can do is zoom in and just start dragging around this slab area, which is in the entire home, obviously. So it's just point and click. And we just drag our way around. You can see as we're dragging around, it starts picking up the area. And then once we get to the end, we just double click. And you can see we've got our first takeoff area here, and it's showing the total square meters being 277.5 square meters for this slab area. So the next thing we can do is we can actually calculate the cubic meters of concrete for this slab. Now we can actually use this same square meter takeoff. What we will do is let's hit this copy button here. That will bring us to this copy takeoff screen. So what we'll do is we'll change this name here to slab area cubic meters now. We can leave the category under footing takeoffs and then here we'll click cubic meters and we'll put in the depth of this slab. Let's just say this slab is 100 mil and now we'll hit create. So what that will automatically do is take the square meters of our previous takeoff and then apply that 100 mil depth to get us our cubic meters of this slab area. Now what we can also do with this same square meter takeoff is also calculate lineal meter quantities from that takeoff. So let's just say we wanted to work out how many linear meters of edge beam there was around this slab. All you would do is the same thing. I'd click this initial takeoff of the square meters. I'd hit copy. And let's call this one edge beam lineal meters. We'll leave the category as it was under footing takeoffs. And then we'll select linear meters here. So I'll click there, create. And then you can see it's automatically calculated the lineal meters of this slab area from the initial takeoff we did. You can see that showing is 83.11 lineal meters. Now another takeoff tool we can use whilst we're doing our slab quantities or measurements is the cylinder cubic meters tool. So let's just add a takeoff and I'll show you how we do that. So let's just say this slab had board piers and we want to calculate the cubic meters of concrete for those board piers. Let's put in our name here, board piers. 
the category will be under footing takeoffs again and we'll select cubic meters here and do create and what you can see is this cylinder tool here which allows us to calculate the cubic meters of a cylinder and obviously board piers are cylindrical so what you would do is click this button and let's just say we had board piers that were three meters deep and had a diameter of 450 check them off and then it'll come up with this marker tool where you can place where you want those board piers to be so let's just say we had four along this wall and then you'll see it counts those four board piers that we've uh, placed those marks for the depth is three meters diameter is 450 and it's given us the cubic meters of concrete or area to excavate for each of those board piers. Let's do another example, this time looking at floor coverings. So let's add takeoff and let's call this one floor tiling. Again we can add a category here so let's call this one flooring and floor tiling will be in square meters so we'll click square meters here hit create and let's do our floor tiling measurement say to the bathroom and laundry in this example so if we click this polygon tool again and let's just measure around this area like so And let's do our floor tiling measurement to these two rooms. As an example, the bathroom and the laundry. So I'll click my polygon tool here and I'll just measure around the room. Okay, so that first room is 3.53 square meters. Let's do the laundry. Now what you can also do is you can modify and change these takeoff measurements that you've done. So you can see this one here, I've gone a bit over the wall line. So what you do is click this pencil button here and you can just drag that takeoff measurement over just to adjust the area and get things spot on if you do make a bit of a mistake. So just hit save. And what you can also do, of course, is delete an area. So if you click this delete button, select the area, and then hit save, that'll delete that from the takeoff that's just been completed. Now let's do our wall tiling takeoff. So if we go to add takeoff, call this one wall tiling square meters, and Let's put this under, let's call this one wall finishes as an example. And we'll select square meters and hit create. Now what we want to do is click this line button here and what that'll do is it'll bring up our wall heights option that we can add in. So let's just say that we wanted to do a takeoff for floor to ceiling tiles. We'll go full, hall, full wall height which is 2700 in this example and then what we can do is just drag around the room that we want our full floor to ceiling tiling let's just say it was in this WC here so then that shows us that for the wall tiling we have a total of 14.08 square meters 
and that's derived by calculating the lineal meters of the room, 5.22, by that 2.7 meter wall height that we added in to give us this 14.08 square meters. Another feature is that we can also make deductions from our wall area. So let's just say using this same example that we wanted to deduct this window from our wall tiling measurement. So what we would do is go to this scissor button here, showing with the line, click this, and here where it's got wall height, what we want to do is modify that to make that the height of the window. So this window is 600 high, so we add 600 here, click this tick, and then we'll just measure across as such. Double click there. And now what you can see is that it's picked up that this takeoff, which we've derived from taking the height of the window by the length of the window, which is also shown here. So 0.59 or call it 0.6 linear meters by that 600 millimeter height gives us a negative 0.35 square meters. So that's that window area. And now that's been deducted from our overall floor to ceiling wall tiling in this room to give us the true square meter quantity of tiling in this room area. Let's do another example. This time we'll look at how we derive linear meters from a square meter takeoff. So let's add another takeoff here and we'll call this one floorboards and we can put this under our flooring category the measurement is linear meters so we'll leave that as is and we'll hit create so now if we click on this new takeoff that we've just created there and let's assume that this lounge area is going to now have floorboards instead of the carpet that's shown so let's click there and then what will happen is that when we select this rectangle tool, for example, it'll come up with the material width. So let's just say our floorboards are 90 millimeters wide. We'll enter that here. And now when we do our takeoff, you can see we've got 188.27 linear meters. So that's shown here as well. So based on the 16.94 square meters of the room, it's worked out that based on our 90 mil board width, we've got 188.27 linear meters of floorboards for that room. Now what we can also do is work out our linear meter quantity with spacing taken into account. So we do this with subfloor materials, for example, or maybe cladding materials where the cladding material was installed at a certain spacing. Let's just do decking in this example and we'll assume we're doing a takeoff for our decking joists. So let's add a takeoff. We'll call this decking board. Let's put that under flooring as well and we'll leave our measurement as linear meters again. Hit create. Now what we can do is, let's just say we we're going to put decking to this part of the alfresco. So we'll click this button over here. And you can see it gives us the option of putting in a spacing. So let's assume our joists are at 450 centers. And the direction of those joists is vertical, looking at this plan. Click the tick button there. And then we can do our takeoff again, just like that. That's our decking area. And you can see that it's worked out that we've got 37.73 linear meters of decking board. And we can see that those decking boards are 3.77 linear meters long by 3.6 linear meters wide. Overall, that is and that's worked out at that 450 millimeter spacing to this area. That concludes this Wonderbuild tutorial for the takeoffs feature.
please stay tuned for the next video.